an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm... Say, Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. 
It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Gorge. so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there. Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves passed by is all. What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Someone needs assistance. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Test Magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the shield of magnificent honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the Shield of Magnificent Honor for free. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Bella? Well, okay. You take it from here. Hope you've picked up some Hilly Churlian by now. If not, there's always body language. Mosimita. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Piante. Uh oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Piante. Uh oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Yayaika, kuttele yepeta. Oh no, we ticked him off big time. Leave it all to me. <laughs> Animal test 6308. Be a done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he dropped the shield of magnificent honor and ran. Guys, thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found! Hey, wait! The wine, you promised! Oh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh, <laughs> uh hey, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh... Out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. 
Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance and your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hill of yours. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past, and gives up on the present instead. I wonder... If such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. <laughs> I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Oh, what's all this? It's a thank you party for you. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy yourself, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. Jean? I... Uh... Huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... Uh, this is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc, I... 
All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin! It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go... Oh, my word. The Dawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say. I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please. Fenty can drink a frightening amount. Ah, hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. Much like my balance, it deserves to be enjoyed for generations to come. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? That would be the drink talking. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the city of the wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! Hey, having a good time? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. After all, you did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> you think so? So you admit it! <laughs> I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. That's class number 37. What's Diluc doing? I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my wine. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. When he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. Diluc, you're a meanie. I'm joking, of course. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway, so I shall spare him the bill. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. Oh, wow! Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tears. Whatever is the matter? Two things. One, this sweet madame. Two, this sticky honey roast. Did you make them? Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Hum, num, num, num. Has Amber been drinking? <sighs> this is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? <sighs> is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together, but I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess. Tomatoes. No, watermelon. <laughs> Chilies. I add chili peppers. Chili pepper? In a drink? Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night, while the rest of the world melted away around them. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. I'm just saying, Jean went upstairs to the balcony, alone. Now's your chance. <laughs> It is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. It is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. 
And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The lion tooth knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? <laughs> Surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stanley. <laughs> oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Meljabari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why, Stan? If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me, you would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer, destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen because your life was cut short, and all because of a worthless tag along. What's going on here? I think our friend really did make it to the Mare Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mondstadt will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madravari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I am Stanley. I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. Now, are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? Yikes! We're busted! Go away. Save your questions. Just leave me in peace. But... Leave now. Don't make me tell you again. Honorary Knight, Venti, and Paimon. I'm so glad you guys are here. I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. My parents are finally supporting me. Oh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're gonna pay for someone to fix up the Sword of Brilliant Valor and Shield of Magnificent Honor for me, so I can take them out on the road. That's wonderful! So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> They're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. We'll see you tomorrow then. After your hangover wears off, maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? Stanley's really fond of that kid, don't you think? Uh, Jack. Jack. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? 
all of a sudden you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure, unblemished. Just a weary old feckless fraud. But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences, they're all true, aren't they? Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley, they're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all, and my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered. Exactly. Even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer ever. Hans Archibald. <sighs> My true name? How did you know? <laughs> the wind! I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari! I always believed... you existed! Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? you, Lord Barbados. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down. But I think that I'm gonna be okay. Ah, wonderful! Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way. This calls for a celebration. And by celebration, I do, of course, mean libation. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? <laughs> no, the wine here's too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. Huh? Where's that supposed to be? Why has Paima never heard of it? Hey, Tone Death Bard! Oh, hey! You made it. Finally. Just tell us where you meet next time, okay? We looked everywhere. <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Well, sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. <sighs> this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. It was about 2,600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. At that time, 
old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old Mondstadt? Oh, Paimon remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The Tyrant of the Winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, God of Storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the Thousand Winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind, a gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better, or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Then do, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. In old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For the whirlwind takes, and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, Were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand, Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, And I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew, the story passed down. And since then never has another worn its crown. So then what? What happened to your friend? Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Paimon! But Venti's telling his story! What makes you suddenly want to have a meat feast? <laughs> Getting a little... peckish or something. Huh. <sighs> Paimon's had it up to here with you! <sighs> You know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze... <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Yeah.